And I suppose my next question would be around succession planning. Allah give you a long life and may Allah preserve you so that you can continue your good work. But do we, does the charity sector think about succession planning and inspiring the next generation of leaders in the sector? Uh, whether they think or not, it has to be done. You can't afford, we can't afford to have the same individual like myself for 30 and 40 years. My limitation will be more because by the time I become older, I will not be able to respond to the community needs. I think as very unfortunately, most of our organization do not have a proper plan for succession planning. And once you are a chair, you'll be forever a chair. Once you are a president, you'll be forever a president. Once you are a CEO, sometimes you'll be president, uh, forever a CEO. This is a problem. And succession planning means that actually you have to keep training young people, whether they are male or female. Actually, the, male, the female absence from the senior leadership of Muslim charity is something actually questionable as well. And it's something you have to get the, the mindset of the people who are running such a charity. So I think we have as chairman or as presidents or as CEO to keep this kind of training of young people, young graduates, young uh, volunteers, as well as young officers to be trained to become one day the chairman, the president, or the CEO, or the head of the division, or the head of the department. Otherwise, we'll be decaying organizations. What you can see nowadays is no proper planning of bringing younger generation to the organization. This from one point of view. The second point of view of succession planning, we should actually be more diversifying. Well, actually, we should not be called Asian organization. Some people were telling me that most of the charitable organizations in the UK are Asian charities. They are not just Islamic charities. We need to see the diversity of to become multinational, multiracial, multi-faith organization inside the Islamic charities as well. So succession planning is something vital, and you can see it everywhere. I used to learn it when I was when I came here as a medical as a medical graduate, and when we used to be in the work round in the in, in the in the hospital, the professor or the consultant or the head of the, the department used to come and hold the young uh, student by hand and give him or her to the sisters, to the nurse, to the uh, registrar, to the senior house officer, and telling them, you have to work and develop and train this young man and young woman. They knew that you have to be trained from the nurse, from the sister, from the uh, junior uh, uh, doctors, from the senior doctors, and from the consultant, and from the professor as well, to invest in me as the young graduate. We need to see this clearly happening inside Muslim charities, not to only see the same face 24-7. Alhamdulillah, 2008, it was my uh, last day, it was 8 April 2008, I have to step down from Islamic Relief as a president and as a founder at the same time. And since that, I did not come back to Islamic Relief worldwide again. Sometime I gave them advice, sometime I traveled with them, but I'm not a decision maker in the organization uh, at all in UK or worldwide. I was chairman, I have tried to get out of Muslim Chairs Forum and we're discussing this for the last three years with the member of the board as well, because there's no point of me staying as a chairman of the Muslim Charities Forum for 15 years or 12 years or 14 years. Alhamdulillah, we can choose somebody else from the committee and we are discussing this subject with one or two candidates who are eligible to become the new chairman. I hope that will be at the end of this year or maximum the beginning of the 2023, inshallah.